Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to encrypt your data with the help of your C Sharp application. So I have made these text boxes and button, and uh, then when I enter some text, simple text here, and when I press this encryption button, it will encrypt my simple text into Rendil Schiffer or encryption text and in this video I will show you how to decrypt this data and extract your original string in this uh, text box so I will just decrypt this data and show original text which is this text here okay so let's see how we can do this and first of all if you haven't seen the last video you would not be able to follow this video because I have declared some variable which I will use in the decryption code also so if you don't have seen this that last video just uh, go and see the last video so now we will write the code for decryption so just double click your decryption button and in this um, button click event uh, write this code so write system.io.memorystream and give it a variable name I have named it as ms1 is equal to new system.io.memorystream and in the bracket we will pass the shiffer bytes which we have uh, written in the last code or last video code so this shiffer bytes is the encrypted data which you have converted from your simple text so this we have declared in the last video as a global variable and this shiffer byte just copy that shiffer byte byte array variable and just paste it here so this I have declared in the last video and then in the next line write crypto stream cs1 is equal to new crypto stream and in the bracket pass this memory stream variable which is ms1 comma des object which I have declared in the last video this is the rendil object which I have declared dot create decryptor bracket bracket closed comma crypto stream mode dot read and bracket closed okay and in the next line just copy this variable paste it here dot read and in the bracket write shiffer bytes which is once again the shiffer bytes which is encrypted form of your data comma zero comma shift of bytes once again dot length and then write plain byte to variable which we have declared in the last video also so this plain byte two is a byte array variable and this I have declared in the last video so this all code I have declared in the last video and this also so write that plain byte bytes to variable is equal to ms1 which is your this memory stream variable dot to string so this will convert your decrypted data into uh, or this will convert your encrypted data into originals form and this memory stream will transfer that decrypted data into this variable okay and just close your cs which is crypto stream variable so cs1 dot close and just close your memory stream also so memory stream dot close bracket and bracket close and then we will just pass our decrypted data byte array into the text box so write 
text box decrypted text which is the name of this decrypted text text box dot text is equal to encoding dot ascii dot get string and just pass this plain byte array variable so for decryption i have written this code okay so if you want you can pause the video and write the code and when you are done with the code we will run our program so for example i will write hello you tube and when i press this button it will encrypt my data and when i press this button it should convert my encrypted data into the original form which is this so i press this and if you can see it has converted my this encrypted data into the original form plus it will give some garbage garbage values because in the encryption we have provided some padding to it in which is a multiple of 16 that's why it's showing this padding garbage so in this way you can decrypt your encrypted data using your c sharp application i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now